welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are making a what I got for Christmas video. I thought that I was gonna show you guys everything that I got for Christmas. Uh, I like watching these videos myself so I thought why not? And before I start rambling I'm just gonna get on into it right away. I thought that we could start with my stocking for my mom. When I say stocking, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of um, underselling it because my mother has a, um, a habit of getting me a huge bag <laughs> instead of a stocking. So um, I love getting these. They are the highlight of Christmas Eve. Um, and I, I should kind of probably tell you that uh, I'm from Norway and in Norway we celebrate a little bit differently. We celebrate on Christmas Eve uh, instead of Christmas Day. We, um, I start my Christmas Eve with waking up <laughs> to one of these from my mother and then we go out into the living room and we put on Christmas uh, nuts to Cinderella um, that is tradition we always watch that at 11 o'clock then we have um, nice breakfast and around 2 o'clock we watch um, Disney uh, Merry Christmas with the Jiminy Cricket before we get ready for Christmas dinner. So we eat Christmas dinner and after dinner we open up our presents. So when Christmas day comes around we have normally just a quiet lazy day where we get to check out our presents and maybe play with them if you got any toys and stuff like that. So that um, I realized that that is not the normal practice most people most countries I should say open up their presents on Christmas Day but we do not so uh, let's just dive into this bag from my mother that I got on Christmas Eve morning uh, because there is a lot of cool things in here uh, if I do say so um, Let's just start with this one. I got some um, cookie cutters uh, with emoji signs. Uh, I, I would like to try these. I'm not really a great baker, but I would like to try, uh, try these out and maybe um, I could bring you guys along while we do a baking thingy session. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really a great cook or a great baker, so. But maybe we could get something yummy out of these. That would be pretty cool. Uh, okay, moving on. I also got a Christmas hat, which actually lights up. <laughs> it has some kind of dog on it. Um, yeah, and it has uh, small lights that shimmer on it. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We also have a gorgeous ornament um, here. I've been meaning to put that on my Christmas tree, but we didn't put one up this year because our <laughs> our cat shadow we found him last easter and we did not know how he was going to react to a christmas tree and because we put his climbing tree where our christmas tree usually goes we are gonna have to find a, a way to a different place to put our christmas tree and um our house is just really not that big, so we're gonna have to be a little bit creative for next year, I think. Uh, I also... Okay, let's see here. 
Uh, we also got these ornaments. Yeah, and the noses lights up on these. Uh, let me just turn it off. We also, I also got uh, <laughs> some kind of funny thingy. Um, I don't really know what to call it, but um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit funny, like a toy for grown up. <laughs> it's so weird. Yep. Um, I also up in this box have a bingo, a game of ability. I think it's just for to have four in a row. But it's called bingo. I don't know. I think it's for a row. Mini version. And I also in this bag have a necklace. Uh, I think it's uh, gonna go around more rounds with a heart. And a little ball. I don't know. I really like it. It's super pretty and I have a really funny pair of socks uh, it says you are turtly awesome and then of course the turtle has a pair of sunglasses they are so cool I, uh, I really love these yes um, I also got a few ha hair accessories some scrunchies a uh, blue one with some kind of a bow and this black and white one. I really like these type of scrunchies because they don't damage my hair. Um, the other ones, um, the small tighter ones, they damage my hair uh, and I do not like that. So I'm, I, I use these. I also got a cute brown little Santa, Santa gnome. <laughs> I really like him. Uh, I'm actually thinking about using him as a gnome and not a Santa because he's brown so he can stand up, uh, stand around my house during spring and summer. So cute. Yes, I know. So cute. And I got a beret. I don't know. Um, what is it in English? It's uh, like a hair clasp, you know? And I got a couple of uh, face masks. Uh, these are face sheet mask, deep cleansing formula with, with vanilla scent. And it's time for swe uh, sweater weather. Uh, face sheet mask, refreshing formula with grapefruit scent. Um, let's see. Oh my god, we also have this cute little tea. Beanie Baby. Uh, it's one of those new round small ones. And this one, his name's Colby. And his birthday is July 13th. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, I also... Oh my god, I forgot about this one. Oh, it's so cute. I also got this small mini bowl with a Santa elf and a little bit of a cottage. It's so beautiful and it's just this small little thing. It looks like a mug without a, 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 a handle, but it's, it's so cute. I really like it. Could have maybe use it as my personal little candy dish. I don't need a lot of candy. So this one is the perfect size for when I do want some candies really love this one i had forgotten about it and oh my god mom i'm so sorry okay i also got a santa mug i really do like this one it's a, it's different from what i have so um i really do love it because of that and look at it I'm really looking forward to bringing this one out every Christmas for hot chocolate or glögg, as we call it here. I don't know what the word is in English, so 
if you do know, please let me know uh, in the comments down below. Uh, I do love that mug. I actually got one more mug uh, in here, and that is this one. And uh, the thing is that I think <laughs> I think my mom bought it as a little bit of a joke, but I, I do love it. Uh, it says that happiness is to have a daughter like you, <laughs> only in Norwegian. So. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, no, I, I love this one. I, I really do love this one. And this one I'm going to use all year round. And last but not least in this uh, Christmas baggie I got from my mom, I got a unicorn. No, not a unicorn. It's a llama wallet. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A lot of llamas. So uh, that was my Christmas bag. Now over to my Christmas presents. I did get a lot and almost everything that I wanted for Christmas. I am absolutely stunned by, by everything. Um, we can start with the picture behind me here. If you can see that. I got that picture from my mom. It is absolutely beautiful beautiful and I fell in love with it at first sight. I know it has a little bit of a glare but look at that it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's standing on this bench behind me until I can uh, put it up on my wall in my living room. Okay let's keep going. Um, this bracelet I got from my uh, boyfriend's mom. It is absolutely beautiful. It has that gold inlay. Um, goes with the style that I usually wear. I really like it. And I also actually got a necklace. I don't know if you can see that it's a gold snake will you focus please gold snake I do love it it is perfect it is so cool uh, moving on uh, my brother and his wife got um, both me and my boyfriend a game for Christmas, but it turns out that we already had that game. So I had to exchange it. I did find this uh, crime scene uh, game, uh, London 1892. It says, a nightmare in the shimmer of the street lights. A crime has been committed, but you are on it. To reveal the truth, you have to solve the puzzles. Whitechapel, London, 13th of December, 1892. Fear has gripped London since Jack the Ripper was active, and now it's starting again. You arrived at the horrible, gruesome crime scene but something seems like it doesn't quite belong it's your job to find out what's important and what's just misdirection uh, walk the streets of Whitechapel and fire get to the solution you're gonna collect the evidence solve the riddles well the captivating story and the realistic pictures brings you to the crime scene uh, that sounds amazing. I uh, love the old 18, 1900s uh, London, the creepiness, the gothic. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into this, um, playing around. So maybe we will see when I can get the time. I'm, I I really love this one. Okay. Um, let me see. I also got 
from my boyfriend, Tommy, a Harry Potter dress. Kind of looks like a Christmas dress, but a winter kind of dress uh, that goes to mid thigh. Like this. I really do love this dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like the little bit of the Hermione style. Really love that. I also got, wait a minute, I also got what I'm wearing actually from my boyfriend as well. It is a stitch t shirt and it says. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> it's so nice. Look at it. With star signs. Yeah. Ah, I love this one. Absolutely amazing. I also got pretty spoiled this year because... The day before Christmas Eve, we went to pick up my mom. She was going to stay with us for Christmas. And she had to make a stop to a electronics store. And my boyfriend just bought me what was highest on my wish list. He got me Nintendo Switch, the light version, because I love po uh, Pokemon. And I, I couldn't play the newest games because I did not have this. So he bought me this. And then I spent the, some of the Christmas money that my dad gave me to buy Shining Pearl Pokemon. Uh, so that I could play. I, I really love this. And thank you dad for giving me money. For Christmas so that I could buy that game. I also got money from my grandparents and uh, they are they took them away into my account. Uh, we also got uh, money from uh, my boyfriend's grandma so uh, yeah really good this uh, like I said this was an amazing Christmas and I'm not even halfway through. So, okay, let's just keep going. My boyfriend always also got me the Kindle Paperwhite. Uh, he gave me this before Christmas because he knew that I was planning on telling my dad that that's what I wanted for Christmas. Uh, just so that I didn't get two. Uh, so I got this one around, I think, the start of December. Um, and uh, I've actually almost, I've also already used it. I read Krampus by Brom on this one in uh, the day, the week between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. I love it. It is amazing and it actually works. It doesn't uh, piss off my eyes or my uh, give me a headache. Like I can get while I when I sit on my computer for too long. It doesn't have that blue light uh, be behind the screen. Uh, so I I really like this one. It was nice. And once I got got into the habit of using this to read from, it actually went pretty fast. I I finished I don't know Krampus in two days. Not full reading days, but you know what I mean. Uh, two days. Yeah. And I actually, yeah. I, I, I love it. That is beautiful. Let's see, what else? I also got, uh, oh yeah, this was from my boyfriend's parents. It's an animatronic of the sorting hat from Harry Potter. It moves and it talks. So you can press this button right here. And it gives you your house. 
and it and it talks talks in French. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into the manual and see if I can get it to just say it in English and not in French. But this is the coolest thing ever. Look at it. And the thing is, you can actually take it out of the box, put it on your head, and have it tell you your house. It has. 15 different phrases that it says and the whole thing moves when it talks. It's so cool. I love that. Let me see here. From a couple of friends. Um, a friend couple. Um, I got a reading a Christmas cushion uh, that says ho 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 and it has a Rudolph on it and I also got a winter Christmas blanket that is always nice and I do love both pillows and blankets and let me see here from my aunt my auntie me and my boyfriend we live together so uh she got us towels for christmas they they are really nice they're soft thick um i i think that these are gonna be perfect i just have to uh throw them into the washer uh for a round before we use them love those and from my oh what should i say my sister-in-law's mom she got me a Santa. <laughs> look at it it has those long uh funny legs i can sit on the you can sit right here actually like that <laughs> it's so cool i i do like that one um from oh god uh this one is from my other aunt i got some uh shower gel and hand cream that is nice because i do get dry hands this time of year, I really do do that. From my brother-in-law, we got a assortment of candy and drinks. Uh, this is actually the only one left. So yeah, we got uh, an assortment of some candies and some drinks uh, from my brother-in-law. And from my mom also from my mom i got this set here with a mug a bowl and a plate from harry potter that's no secret i love harry potter so i uh, love this it is absolutely gorgeous and let's see from my boyfriend, I got the entire Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray, the extended editions. He also got me the Gryffindor scarf. It is so gorgeous. I love it. Ah, I really wanted this and I wanted this scarf for years. Now look at it. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful and let's see in this bag over here from my boyfriend's parents they got me the designed and illustrated Ad Mina Lima edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I have been wanting this one ever since it came out. Uh, I love it. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. And it's... It, it, it's finally mine. I am... Oh my god, I can't... I just can't. It's... Uh, I'm speechless. I love it. It is gorgeous. 
So, yeah. Um, next up, I got a... I got an assortment of books from my mom. She asked me for a uh, wish list. And so I just took a few of the books that I really, really want. And I sent them to her on a list. And one of them was The Haunting Season. Um, it is... A collection of eight ghostly tales for long winter nights by Bridget Collins, Natasha Pulley, Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Elizabeth McNeil, Laura Purcell, and Andrew Michael Hurley, Jess Kidd, Imogen Hermes Gowar. Uh, featuring new and original tales. This one is I have been wanting this for about a year now and I am really looking forward to this uh, to reading this one and would you just look at that cover it is so gorgeous so beautiful I think I'm gonna start reading a few of these stories through January and February she also got me The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner um, this one was a transfer from uh, the wish list I gave her for my birthday. And here it is! Uh, I've really been looking forward to this one. Uh, I think the it sounds amazing. Let's see, it says, A forgotten history, a secret network of women, a legacy of poison and revenge. Welcome to the Lost Apothecary. Hidden in the depths of 18th century London, a secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele. Women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure name, named Danella who sells well-disguised poisons to use against the oppressive men in their lives. But the apothecary's fate is jeopardized when her newest patron, a precocious 12-year-old, makes a fatal mistake, sparking, sparking a string of consequences that echo through the centuries. Meanwhile, in present-day London, aspiring historian Caroline Parswell spends her 10th wedding anniversary alone, running from her own demons. When she stumbles upon a clue to the unsolved apothecary murders that haunted London 200 years ago, her life collides with the apothecaries in a stunning twist of fate, and not everyone will survive. With crackling suspense, unforgettable characters, and searing insights, The Lost Apothecary is a subversive and intoxicating de debut novel of secrets, vengeance, and the remarkable ways women can save each other despite the barrier of time. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think this is gonna be a spring read. I, oh my god, I really love this. It is historical. It is poisons. It's women trying to push back against the oppressiveness of men and oh my god yeah yeah no this one sounds absolutely amazing can't wait to read it thank you mom there and that's not all mom got me two more books actually and one of them is the Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. Um, I love folklore and fairy tales and all that stuff. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. So I sent this one to my mom. It's... In the vein of Naomi Novik's New York Times bestseller Spinning Silver and Catherine Arden's national bestseller The Bear and the Nightingale, this unforgettable de debut inspired by Hungarian history and Jewish mythology follows a young pagan woman with hidden powers and a one-eyed captain of the woodsmen as they form an unlikely alliance to thwart a tyrant. 
that is all I'm gonna read from this one because I don't want to know anything else. I, it sounds amazing. And the last book my mom got me this Christmas was Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, I have not read the Marissa Meyer book before, but as I understand it, this one is a book about the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, in Heartless, the nonsense that is Wonderland gets a reverential makeover full of heart and its own idiosyncratic character. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, cover, amazing. And I do think... Yep, yep. Yep, the naked book is absolutely stunning. Oh my god, look at that. It has this red foiling. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I also got from my boyfriend this beautiful shawl. Oh, I don't know if you can see this beautiful Harry Potter themed shawl with the phoenix on the back and some of the symbols like the lion and the snake and the deathly hallows at the bottom love it it's warm it is beautiful and I love it it has two different it has it's black on one side and gray on the other he also gave me and this is very very heavy and it has to be treated as gold i am telling you it has to he got me the history of middle earth i love it this is, I'm, I'm just going to put it down because it's extremely heavy. Um, the History of Middle-earth is Tolkien's son. Uh, he went through everything that Tolkien had written and drawn and everything um, about M Middle-earth. And put them into these compendiums uh, to publish for everyone. Because a lot of people have questions about Middle-earth. Lord of the Rings, the world. And they come in these beautiful uh, compendiums. The pages are silk thin. They are like silk paper. It is just gorgeous and in here there are uh, a lot of text there uh, is a few maps uh, some pictures of when he when Tolkien wrote the languages and now this this thing is just amazing look at that There, and there are three of these huge, huge books. And I, I absolutely love them. I, um, I absolutely love them. So, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Tommy. I, I also got a few uh, things of candy, uh, Christmas candy and stuff, but since it's been Christmas, a lot of it's gone, so, yeah.
mug was also a Christmas present from my boyfriend. And now I'm gonna have cocoa with it. So it comes from the last spoon. It's so cool. Not least from my brother and his wife I got this beautiful dragon with this skull it is so beautiful and it's amazing I love it I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who got me a, a, a present this Christmas. I am speechless. I got so many wonderful things and I, I, I just can't thank, thank you guys enough. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you. And if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe maybe you could also tell me in the comments down below what you got for christmas i would love to to know i would love to hear it so um yeah thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye